behind us, they're currently setting up the scaffolding for the year 13 Leavers picture. And although it is quite sunny at the moment, there are some grey clouds, so it might be raining in a bit. <laughs> We are now halfway through the summer term of 2015. Thankfully, though the rain abated long enough for Weedad and I to ascend the scaffold with our fellow Year 13 leavers and have that souvenir of our seven years at Sir John Law School. So following an Easter break that saw large school trips to both Rome and Iceland, it's been a short half term, but nonetheless a busy one for all students and staff. We are going to take a look at the exhibition that art, textiles and design technology have put up. There was also a high quality music showcase from year 10. But first, back to the year group, the group we have been a part of since 2008. Okay, you're ready now. Standing up nice and straight, sitting up nice and straight. On the counter, three. Feet, ankles together on the front row, please. That's great. I don't know. On the counter, three. You're ready now. One, two, three. Excellent. Thank you ever so much. The student we just zoomed in on was Jack Richardson, one of several outstanding musicians in his final year. Here he is playing a clarinet solo in our jazz evening, a typically tricky arrangement of stomping at the Savoy. I have just snuck into the tech block for a sneak peek at tonight's exhibition for parents and staff. And in this room, I believe we actually have some A-level work, which also will be moderated tomorrow. And Mr Maidum explained to us earlier that this piece is actually designed for Grove Infant School, which is meant to be a barrier, but also doubles as an activity board. <laughs> One of the products that Year 12s had to design was a passive amplifier. For example, this is without the amplifier. And with... We have another four examples of these passive amplifiers. Let's test them out. One. Tom and Jerry theme next. This one was designed for an iPad, but still works well for a phone. And finally, passive amplifiers are a really well designed project as they don't require any more energy, they only need the power from the phone, yet they still improve the sound quality. I think my favourite personally is the Tom and Jerry speaker. Uh, Miss Gibbs is over there, let me go and see what she's doing. Hello Miss. Hi, how are you doing? Good, thank you. What are you looking at? So I'm looking at the GCSE work of Lizzie Edwards in Year 11 and you can see this really, really heavy sculpture here made out of plaster. Uh, Mr Higgins and I tried to lift it down and we nearly uh, put our backs out. <laughs> so, She's really, really heavy. Um, Lydia's also done some really nice paintings, observational stuff, and this fantastic handmade paper book. Wow. So much detail in there, it's beautiful. And uh, it's all hand painted, and every page she's made herself, which is really nice. So while you're here, I think I might show you somebody else that I like. Right, so these two sculptures have been made by Toby Halsey in Year 11 and he has used a lot of different clay techniques to make sculptures of this size. Usually a sculpture this large could potentially crack in the kiln but it's been made of lots of different parts, particularly that one. So it has been then put together once it's been fired. Um, he's worked really hard to get all the small details such as the SJL badge and the fact that the monkey's wearing a king badge. But he's also looked at the texture of the fur and the muscles in his bull that he's made. 
performances. They're really good. The Year 10 Showcase featured many talented musicians in the school, including Tim Heitman. Oh, hi. What are you going to be playing this evening? Um, I am playing a piece by Monty. It's a Hungarian dance, which is a Shardas written in 1904. Um, it's just it's got some hard fourth harmonic stops in it. Okay, and what are these stopped fourth harmonics? Um, so fourth harmonic stops are basically where you press one finger down the string and put one finger down lightly to make a more high pitched sound. So it goes like that, and you can then move around the fingerboard just in the fourth position going. Like that, and then you can move everywhere. Well, I hope your performance goes well and we shall take a listen. Thank you very much. Today has been a bit of an emotional day for Year 13 as it's the last ever day of lessons. Students all came in in their old school uniform and celebrated being at the school for nearly seven years. Many of the classes involved eating cake, or in science's case, blowing up some chemicals. Preparations are currently underway for the Leavers ceremony tomorrow, so let's go have a look how it's going on. Tomorrow, the hall will be filled with 300 people to watch musical performances and speeches from members of Year 13. This means that this is my last ever newscast, so goodbye from me, Phoebe Hazar. We'll leave you with Tim Heitman playing Shardas by Monty and accompanied by Miss Gillott.